Well, everyone in Northeast Ohio was excited about Fun Home coming to Cleveland, part of the Key Bank Broadway series. That's right. Five Tony Awards, is that right? Yes. And I'm most excited about talking to Janine Tesori, who is the person responsible for the music, and that would make you the... Composer. The composer. And I, I like when I first met you, you were telling me about you needed a bag to carry that was big enough to carry your score. Yes, and still cute. And still cute. <laughs> Very what's, hard to find. What's cute about the score for Fun Home? What, what, what made it get that Tony Award, you think? Uh, I think the thing about Fun Home is that it's um, it, it's really funny. And a lot of people come and, and think, oh, this show is about this and this. But it's actually very, it's very joyful. And so we had a lot of fun doing the music. And it's very emotional. And I love pieces like that that you sort of uh, make you cry through your... Um, uh, while you're laughing. That's my kind of show. Alison Bechtel, she wrote the show. Uh, also, Northeast Ohio Connection. She went to Oberlin. That's right. She wrote the book, right? Wrote the book. And uh, when you collaborate on this, how much give and take is there? What's this? How's that collaborative effort work? Uh, Alison was really, um, it's unusual because she trusted us implicitly, which is always dangerous. <laughs> but she also said, I don't know, you know, she's, um, she writes. Uh, graphic novels and she's a novelist and an artist and she said I don't know anything about musical theater I have no knowledge what anything is called uh, if you see something I, I trust you and use me as you need mm. and so she became a really great force in our um, as we progressed and we would call her in and she would come in and um, and, uh, and it, it was so weird and the other day I was thinking what if you went into a theater and right here and there was something a musical that starred you in it how bizarre but you know she went along for the ride so when, when you two were talking about this like you sort of manipulate things a little bit I mean you had pace to things mm -hmm. and, and you had drama and, and feelings it must have been wild for her to be able to go back and forth with you on that, to, to see her, her work come to life in a different way. It really, it really, that's a perfect way to put it. And yet she said, that didn't happen, <laughs> but it could have. Yeah. And, and there was a, a point where I felt like I knew her so well. I, she gave me her journals to read from that time. And it was so important that we got it right, because I think when you're writing a story about a family, um, you, we wanted to get it right so specifically so that uh, in a way it applied to all of us. And there's this murky middle ground where if you get too general about a family, strangely enough, fewer people can relate to it. Mm. But we got so specific in with the details about this family and when um, he, the rest of her, her, her brothers came and saw it and his neighbors, her father's neighbors, and they said, that's that's right. You know, that's that's how that family was. But it's helped so many people to come see this piece. I can see your pride in this work. I am very proud of it. That's you great. know, I'm I, I and and surprisingly so. I didn't really think when I said yes to this project that it would travel this road. Well, this is excellent. So Cleveland audiences will get to see it here October second through the twenty second. So that's, that's right. three weeks. So jump on board now. It's a Tony Award winning show, Fun Home, and thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Very sweet. No.